finally finished. It's very difficult to film without getting me in it with the iPad, but I hope you can see the mirror. Hi everybody, welcome to the workshop Bell Cottage. As you can see I've come a long way since my first video and I absolutely love painting now but the biggest mystery to me has been dark wax. So I've been on a few Annie Sloan courses and I've been doing lots of googling and lots of YouTubing and I think I've finally cracked it. So I'm going to show you the easy way to use dark wax. So today to do this as a practice on something, it's not always good to do it on something that you've you've done and you want it to look good so practice first so I'm using this it's a plastic um, molded frame just from a cheap shop up the road so that's that and then I'm going to paint it obviously I'm a big fan of Annie Sloan so I'll be using Paris grey and old white to paint it I'll also show you how to do a bit of dry brushing and then to do the waxing that's what we're here for today you need some clear wax dark wax and something to just mix it in, just a little, either a bowl or something to mix it in. You'll need some white spirit here and um, just some lint-free paper or a lint-free cloth. And obviously you'll need some brushes, which I have in abundance. So, let's get started. Right, so here goes, this is the easy bit, just painting the frame. I prefer it like to lay it flat, just because it saves any runs. So I've covered all it up, I've covered all the mirror up, I'll just get painting. I've stirred the paint, so you don't have to go through that pain of watching me stir the paint like the last time. And then just dab it on. It doesn't have to be particularly neat, because it's going to be um, all textured anyway. So there we are. I've got Joe, my editor, he's going to be sorting all this out for me again. Joe? Yes, that is me. If you like what you see in this video, then make sure you go subscribe to me. I will guarantee it. Oh my god, that rhymes. If you like what you see, subscribe to me. See, I'm an absolute genius. Yeah, so if you like what you see, go subscribe to me. Card is there. So yeah, let's get on with the video. Ooh. It goes on really easy. You can use this paint on anything. I mean, as you can see, this is plastic. all the edges which is all I mean you can do the back as well just make sure it all looks the same make sure all the edges are done as you can see I'm still a messy worker to be completely honest with you it doesn't really matter if you leave a little bit of the white walking through because it's the whole point it's going to be little old and distressed but I'm just trying to get the most of it done that's it as easy as that so we'll just have to wait for that to dry now and then I'll be able to show you the next technique of dry brushing to give it a bit of texture. Right, I'm going to demonstrate now, this is all dry, I'm going to demonstrate how to do some um, dry brushing. It's just to give this, get rid of this block colour. So basically, just get some paint on your brush, like that. And then get a bit of cardboard, and literally keep going on it until the paint's off. Literally. Like that and it's literally dry so all you do then is on certain bits it'll just highlight this is the mirror so I'm just going to show you close up when it hasn't been dry brushed and that's it there I mean it looks okay but it, it, it's quite a block color so if we go up you can see here where the white has just highlighted all the edges and just makes it a little bit more interesting and a bit more vintage so when the dark wax goes on it'll really show up really well so I'll finish the rest of the mirror and then we'll start the dark waxing a few moments later right I'm going to start with the waxing now what we have to do first is put a layer of clear wax on so make sure it's all covered in clear wax because the dark if you put too much dark on if you've got the clear underneath it's easier to get the dark off so there's two ways you can apply clear wax. You can either use a sponge, which is really easy, or alternatively, put it on with a brush. Both are easy. I'm going to start off with a sponge, and then um, I'll continue with the brush. Get some clear wax on your sponge, and then just rub it on. Really easy, hardly difficult. Actually, it might be easier with a brush. The sponge is great if it's just a flat piece. I think to get in all the nooks and crannies, I'm going to use the sponge. So, do that for now. 
just wipe off any excess of your lint-free paper. And I think I'll do the rest with my uh, brush just to get in around the frame. So do that for the whole frame, putting your clear wax on and then just rub the excess off with your lint-free paper. Do a bit at a time and then when we've done all that I'll then show you how to apply the dark wax. Just hope it works. Right, now for the dark waxing. Get your dark wax and a spoon. Get like just about a teaspoon full of dark wax and pop it into your bowl or your jar. A bit fiddly, a bit messy. And then get your white spirit and add about three times the amount of the spoon. One, two, three. That's a bit messy. And then dissolve the dark wax into the pot. I think the easiest way is to get your, get your brush you're going to be using. And then just make sure it's all dissolved. And I like it quite runny, so maybe add another two. So that's about five in total. Just like water, really. Then we're ready to dark wax. I've tried to get the frame as near to the camera as I can, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Make sure you've got your lint-free paper handy. So the idea is you don't want it all dark, you just want to highlight some of the edges. So, this is what we do. Start with this one here. So you just pop it on like this. It looks a bit scary, but don't let it scare you. And then, just get your lint-free cloth. And because it's so watery, you can put it where you want to put it, really. Normally when you put dark wax straight on, it's, it's hard to manoeuvre, whereas because this is so watery, you can more or less put it where you want to put it. We don't want the whole lot look dark, we just want it to look aged and a bit more vintage. And then if any goes on that you don't actually want on, all you do is rub it over with a bit of clear wax. So. The good thing about this is if you don't think you've got enough on, you can add a bit more rather than putting too much on and then you can't get it off. So say for example, say this bit here, you decide you don't want dark anymore. So get a bit of lint-free cloth, some clear wax, and then just it'll rub off quite easily. There you go. Obviously I'm not going to leave it like that because it's not going to look right, but that was just to demonstrate that if you don't want it dark, you can soon get rid of it. Whereas if you put the dark wax on without diluting it, it, it takes a lot more effort to get off. So I'm going to continue and do all the dark wax and then I'll show the end product, but that's how easy dark wax is. Now I know the mirror was just about dark waxing, but I have just bought some gilding gold wax and I thought I'd try it out on this, I haven't used it before. So here it goes. So apparently, I think you put it on with your finger. Be interesting. Just put it on like this. Oh, that's nice. Just gives it a little bit more, makes it a bit more glam. So, sorry about the photography and I've taken the um, newspaper off so unfortunately the camera's reflecting in the mirror. I just wanted to show you all the different things you can kind of do. Not bad for a £4.99 plastic mirror. I'll continue doing this and then I will do a final picture at the end so you can see what it all looks like. One eternity later. Finally finished! It looks really good, I have to say. I think the gold gilding has just finished it off. Sorry, it went a bit dark there. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a like and I'll do another one. And don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Bye.